Hector is up next. He is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hi, Hector. How are you? Hi, Dave. Well, good. How are you, sir? Better than I deserve. What's up? Thank you for taking my call, sir. And uh, sorry, I'm a little nervous, so I'm just going to read off the script I have here. That's cool. It is, um, we are a uh, second generation family owned Mexican restaurant that is being operated by my siblings and myself with two locations and have 75 team members and do 7.2 million in sales. And I'm calling because I want to know if, given the current market conditions with the slowing economy, if it is wise to pay off our $673,000 uh, loan at 3% uh, and deplete our savings. How uh, much do you have in savings? We have uh, $850,000. I will pay it off today. You want to survive a down economy? Don't have payments. Oh, man, that feels so good. I feel like I just got chips and salsa. <laughs> I just feel great, man. You got no debt. How Do you own this or does your dad own it? So my dad owns it. Okay, so you got to talk him into doing that. Yes. Okay. All right, here's the thing. COVID hit, pandemic hit. Fauci's quarantine hit. Fauci's disruption of the economy hit. We got Fauci. Remember that? Yes, we. Oh, yes. Yeah, we, you were shut down completely because you oh, know yeah. you can. The little COVIDs were hanging out in restaurants. We all knew that. So right. Yes. So you were shut yes. down completely. Yes. Yeah, and we were shut down for a little while. We had entire segments of our revenue evaporate in thirty days. We had a healthy, thriving live events department. It's making millions of dollars. It evaporated. We have a high school curriculum that is taught to high school students in 48% of the high schools. It's a, it's a tens of millions of dollars a year business. Almost all of the purchases for next year's curriculum happen in April. Guess what we were all doing in April of 2020? Sitting in our pajamas, getting fat. We got Fauci, Remember? And so that that oh, yeah. whole thing evaporated. Nobody's in school ordering curriculum, right? And right. so, oh my gosh! I mean, I had tens of millions of dollars of of incoming revenue just leave. We were scrambling. We had to create new levels of revenue just to make sure we could keep payroll going. We had tens of millions of dollars in. Uh, uh, Retained earnings, you got a big old pile of money and retained earnings based on the size of your business. A great job on that. Um, and But we were sitting here with zero debt. We were careful. We were stressed. We were trying to take care of our team and make sure no one lost their jobs due to revenues evaporating. We were able to move revenues around, move people around, keep things moving. Not a single person lost their job. And we did not get into complete freakout mode. We never got into the red. We made money through the whole thing. We turned the whole thing around where our profits are up so much year over year. Right now, it's like crazy good. Uh, and guess what? All of that's because I didn't have any debt. And I had a pile of money. And so if the economy is slowing down and that is your fear, the best way to handle that is to have some cash, which you do. You have a couple hundred thousand bucks and you're debt free. Please pay this loan off. Please get rid of it. It is a weight that you guys don't even realize you're carrying until you set it down. When you set it down, the whole, all your brothers and sisters, your mom and dad are going to go, Whew, we've been carrying around a dadgum 300 pound weight on our back. Right. I promise you, you're not going to regret it. I promise you. And don't go back in debt again. Y'all are making money, man. Y'all y'all work sure. your butts off too, don't you? Yes, we do. Restaurant business is hard. It's rough. Right. High it turnover. Is. You can't keep people. It's a, one of my friends in the business, he said the average thing in your all's world is 300% turnover a year. Does that sound right? That sounds about right. Yeah, he's got his down. He's got now. his down to one hundred and twenty five percent turnover, less than half the industry average, and he feels like king of the hill. Man, I, if I had one hundred and twenty five percent turnover in one year, I'd just give up. I mean, we have a you know nothing turnover here compared nothing nothing. We hardly lose anybody in a year. So, uh, but you you guys work. You deal with turnover. You deal with 
team members. You deal with crazy customers. You're doing $7.2 million in Mexican food out of two spots in a year. Y'all are kicking butt, man. But you're stepping and fetching, too. You're working. There's a lot of sweat, a lot of late nights. Uh, You're tired. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right. For God's sakes, don't let this thing be vulnerable to Bidenomics. For God's sakes, write a check and be debt free. Oh, please. I beg you. It's just best thing. You, you will never be mad at Dave Ramsey for telling you to do this. It won't happen. Because, you know, even if your sales go way down, you got no payment. If you got no pay, I mean, yeah. the biggest line item on your, you got two big numbers on your P&L, payroll and payment. And we just got rid of two of your biggest, one of your two biggest problems on your P&L. You're going to have profit next month like you never. What's the payment on this thing? This thing is running about $7,000 a month. Okay. And what's your, uh, on your $7.2 million gross, what's your net profit in a year? Net profit. After cost We're of goods sold, after labor, after everything, everything, everything. About 18%. $2 million, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And 7000 is uh, $7,000 a month? Yeah, that's $100,000 a year then. Okay. Yes. So a hundred. So yeah, it's not. It's not. It's going to change your profit a little, but it's not going to change it that much. But it's not as much as I thought it would. So I was wrong on that part. But I was hope. I was hoping the math would just smack you around, but it doesn't. So a hundred hundred grand on two million doesn't change your life, right? But but I, I was hoping it'd be a lot more than that. But it's still you're having an extra hundred thousand dollars. The bottom line. Yep. That right now you're just you know you have another partner, the bank, stupid bank is your partner, and they're a merciless twerps. They'll come take the place. They got no soul at all. Man, please, please, please. I love your business. I want to come eat there right now. I got my mouth watering. I bet you that's some good food, man. I mean, we're talking Albuquerque, New Mexico, Tex-Mex. I'm t- woo, I could eat me some of that right now. Way to go, Hector. Proud of y'all. Killing it. Very well done. Please talk your dad into this. I don't know if you can or not, but if I woke up in your shoes, I'd be debt free by Friday. No banker in my restaurant unless he's a customer. That's it. I'm no longer his customer. He can come over here and have a taco. That's it, man. I'm done with you people. That would work perfect for me.